We're starting the day just trying to take this roof off so we can put, replace the plywood that's in there. We're having a hard time popping off this trim. Good morning, pigs. After I said good morning to the pigs, I let them out, I fed them. I shoveled their pig poop. Shoveling pig poop. I fed our meatball chickens. These broiler Cornish cross chickens are six weeks old and I feel like this batch is looking kind of small. 20 chickens in here, 20 chickens in there. I'm feeding them the same as usual. I'm always giving them grit. I'm moving them every day. It could be just the batch. You know, I think just some batches are different than others. Some grow big, some grow small. We still have a couple more weeks left before butcher date, so maybe they'll grow in the next two weeks. I said hi to Bernice and the crew. Bernice, good morning Bernice. Let's check out our broiler chicken. We saved a broiler chicken from our freezer. And look at her. She's right there hanging out with the crew. Hey Mary. Right next to Bernice. Yeah, they're all getting along now. Everything's fine. Now they're, they're being chickens. Freddy, high five Freddy. Fuzzy Muggins, what's up? Fed the quail. Sometimes I forget we even have quail. You are so quiet over here. Not a peep from you. Had coffee. Ate breakfast. It's time to start our next project. Over the years, I've built two walk-in coolers. I helped my friend Casey and Tori from Honey Tree Farms to build their cooler. And I also built Justin Rhodes's walk-in cooler. My next cooler build is going to be this tiny portable trailer. So it's going to be a portable walk-in cooler. It's a four by eight trailer that I picked up used. I like the idea of a cooler being portable, especially for us right now at this stage in our life, because we're looking to move and we will eventually find a bigger property. So at least I could take the cooler with us, but I just thought it'd be cool to build a portable walk-in cooler. And also, uh, we have two pigs to butcher coming up this year, and having a cooler like that would help greatly. Today was the first day of this build, first gutting this trailer. It reminds me from when I used to work on school buses and convert them to tiny homes. Kind of, kind of the same deal. These builds do take time. And it's always, usually, is because you have a hard time getting screws out. And that's what happened today. Uh, we had to grind off a lot of the screws, which took us twice as long as we wanted to today. We thought we'd get more done today. Starting the day just trying to take this roof off so we could put, replace the plywood that's in there. We're having a hard time popping off this trim. The screw that they used here is some kind of weird star bit that we don't have. I even went to the, the hardware store and could not find that bit. So we're having to grind off everything.
homemade. That's what it, so that's what it looks like. They just use three uh, quarter inch ply that they just stick in there, stick on top. It's all corroded. You can tell there's been some leaks, especially right there. And the goal here for now is to make it leak proof. We can't have not not have this any leaks. And then see if there's any more mold or any mold. So we're gonna replace this. Well, gonna screw here, take out. There's the bones. have to cut off that little sliver and then this little sliver here come on we're just thinking we're just talking about this it should have been a full sheet of plywood for this because what is it what good is this gonna do somebody nothing they're just gonna throw that away yep. that's extra work right yeah <sighs> just extra work for the person making this and the person rebuilding it yeah Shishito peppers. Oh, those hot? Um, no, they have flavor. They have a little tiny kick, but they're not supposed to be like really, really hot, but a nice kick to them. Ooh, those look nice. Yeah, I've never tasted them before. But that's what that's what the package said. We just finished up for the day. We still have a lot of work to do on that trailer, but it's dinner time. What are we having for dinner? Dinner is just some ground beef with vegetables and some rice. Very simple but we do have a special treat in the oven. Ooh, special treat special time. Special treat time. Look. Ooh. What are they, Penelope? Uh, they're double chocolate, almond butter, donuts. Mmm. yummy. And they're gluten-free. But they're so hot. Uh-oh, there's a mistake there. What happened here, guys? It got fenced down. Don't touch it. This is how pigs escape. This is how pigs escape. It's still on, but if you touch it on the pole, these are a little bit easier to touch because they have the big squares here. So if you just touch it on the pole, you won't get shocked. I don't know why that was down. There was nothing on it. It might have just kind of fell. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't in the ground right. Hey, pig. Come on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. That was in the roof. This was the top part of the trailer, just all rotted out. I'm trying to keep track of this build so I could um, let you guys know like how much everything costs and everything um, in case you want to build out a walk-in cooler yourself. Not quite done with this walk-in cooler. First step is to gut it, which we started today, and to take out any rotted wood that we see. We gotta fix the electrical on it, make sure all the lights are working. We gotta paint the inside, outside, and then we start with the walk-in cooler portion where we gotta insulate it. I still need to get the cool bot that I'm going to use and also the air unit cooler. 
I'll leave a playlist of the walking cooler I built for Justin Rhodes. So you have, if you have not seen that, I'll leave a playlist somewhere in these corners uh, so you can check out. What is that? Spaghetti squash. <laughs> Spaghetti squash number two. Let me swing on it, Penelope. Okay. How do you get on this thing? Um, and sit in the, in the middle circle or else you'll slide off. That's kind of hard. <laughs> there you go. Like that? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. But you're gonna... Woo! Like that? Yeah. <laughs> 